Hello all YouTubers and jailbreak fans out there. Today I got a special treat for you, namely an iOS 10.3.2 jailbreak tutorial. And as you can see I do not have Cydia already. And my iOS version is 10.3.2. Now this jailbreak is actually pretty straightforward and easy and fast. Uh, what you do is that you simply start up Safari from your iOS device and this jailbreak also works on uh, any iPhone or iPad or iPod or whatever that is running any version of iOS 10. Uh, so start up your Safari browser and go to this address here pangu10.mobile and here you will get an explanation how the jailbreak works and they will tell you that you can't install Cydia on your device if you're not jailbroken because Apple does not uh, approve of um, Cydia. However, they do of course approve uh, apps uh, like Cooking Fever and such. Uh, public apps. Um, now the Pangu team has found a smart way to hide the jailbreak and Cydia inside of approved applications. So the result is that you get an approved application that has the jailbreak and Cydia hidden inside of it. So go to this address, pangten.mobile, scroll to the bottom and click here uh, to get to the free Cydia injected apps store. Sorry about the hair from my cat and my thumb. And here they will tell you um, that to note that, that uh, sorry, um, here they tell you to note that Apple sometimes patches these jailbreak injected apps. So if you try an app and it doesn't work, uh, then it means that the app has been patched and so nothing happens. Then you need to try another app. And um, new apps are added all the time as old apps get patched and no longer works. So usually it works right away, but sometimes you need to try a few times. And on this link here, when you click it, you get to a random jailbreak injected app. And so uh, this app changes every now and then. So if it doesn't work on the first try, and simply go back and uh, check when a new app is added. Usually the apps changes uh, every few minutes or so. Uh, sometimes you need to wait uh, longer when it gets stuck. Uh, sometimes it gets stuck on one app that has already been patched and, and there's nothing to do really but to check back and wait till there is uh, another app added a new, new, newly injected uh, jailbreak app. Now, um, sometimes you need to click it twice for some reason. But it doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, uh, this app has the jailbreak and CDI uh, hidden inside of it. So what you need to do now is to start this app and when you do so, you also start the jailbreak in the background. So you start this app and now you wait for about 30 seconds because right now the jailbreak is being installed in the background. So you just wait for about 30 seconds or so. And, and right, like I said, right now the jailbreak and Cydia is being installed in the background. And now that we have waited for about, roughly about 30 seconds or so, we are simply going to restart our device to finish the jailbreak. And you know if this works um, when you restart your device and you see that the file system is being prepared. Uh, you see this Apple logo with a progress bar underneath it and you will also see the um, text pangu10.mobile. And if you wonder about that blinking light over there, it's the proximity sensor. You cannot see it with your naked eye, but if you record your video, you record your phone, just like I did now, then you will see it. So there's no funky business going on there. And it looks like the jailbreak worked. Uh, and now it's preparing the system files. shouldn't take too long. Oh 
almost done. And of course, all of the apps are free. Paying you 10 dot no mind. If, you, if one app for one reason or another should not be free, but they should all be free, but if an app is not free, then do not download it. Jailbreaks are free. You should not perform a survey or do a content block or human verification crap or anything like that. Uh, it's just 100% free download. 100% free direct download, else it's fake. And there's Cydia. Working perfectly. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to jailbreak the new iOS 10.3.2. And that warning message that you get, you sometimes get that when you launch it up at first uh, time. I don't know why, but Cydia works just perfectly. So, there you have it. Now, if you like this video, then please do comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. And I'm also just going to show you real quickly here iOS 10.3.2. So, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe and have a great day.